Hi, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of um, Watercolor Instructions with me. Today I'm going to do a cityscape. The image you see is uh, Jerez in Spain, beautiful place. So I'm going to try to attempt this uh, painting. So as you can see, the last, so that one, I'm trying to draw with a mouse and then um, it's a lot more difficult than it looks. So that's where the horizon is. We got three sets of buildings. Oh, three sets of buildings. So that's one, that's two, and obviously the, the highlight is that particular building. So it's got three rows. And uh, I think uh, the blue awnings, obviously, they are very important. And not to forget the clock, the tower, and um, lots of, I'm gonna minimize a few people. So maybe I'm gonna do here a few, a few people, and a few more people. Here. Uh, I'm going to ignore that and the shadows are important. That shadow is important. Those shadows are important. And then also I'm going to do a little more of the greenery in the front. So uh, there's nothing much to the sky. I'm going to come with a clean wash. It's quite sunny. And uh, maybe I'm going to minimize the texture here and then see how it goes. So let's um, start. And also help me out uh, if you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And hit the notification button so that you don't miss a video. Uh, so, in terms of materials, it's a 300 grams quarter page Saunders Rough. It's on an incline. I got two cans of beans. Uh, on my right side, I have a John Pike palette. I got 20 different colors. My yellows, my browns, my reds, greens, blues, and a couple of grays. And uh, predominantly, most of the paintings I'm gonna do with um, synthetic, but for um, the sky and the first wash, I'm gonna use a, a mop, not this big, but maybe slightly smaller. Uh, and also, especially with the cityscapes, what helps is to quickly draw a simple sketch just to get a feel for how the shadow is going to be. So in this case, so you're drawing, that's your horizon. So I'm going to just draw a couple of lines just to get the perspective, even though it's not there. I like to add a little more line it gives you a little more perspective and obviously the center image is the highlight and it goes something like that and not to forget there is a there's a clock all the way to the top And there is one building and there is a second building with a board and then also probably there's a yellow board, a couple of trees. And on this side, so you got three buildings. So we got the awnings, smaller awnings again. And that is where the people headline is. So I'm going maybe add one more. And you're looking at people. 
So something on that scale. All right. So not to forget, there's a shadow and the building. So it helps to just do quickly in a monochromatic tone. You do that's your first tone. A little more here. There's a, obviously a shadow and a darker tone. Oh, here. Um, that one is a little darker. Probably not this much dark, but something like that. So it's a lot more darker in that area. And Yep, yeah, I think this is roughly what we are trying to achieve in this painting. So let's crack on with the painting. So we're looking at uh, a horizon. Always try to get the volume done first and then the details so so we got four awnings so this is at slightly at an angle second one third one and the fourth one there is Now it goes all the way till the top. Let's um, try to get there's a balcony, there's the doors. Since this is a primary subject, I'm going to take a little more time to add more detail to this one than the rest. And then also you can see an awning on the side and there's four more windows with the balcony of course and and this one needs to be slightly higher Okay, and the second ring, second cake or the layer cake is you get to see one, two, three, four doors. And there is a little bit of text over here. It says Fondador. And over here it says Fino La Ina. Ignore my Spanish if I'm butchering it. And 
I'm assuming there's some doors. There's a tree line, there's a tree line, and then it comes over here. A little more, and there's a couple more buildings. We don't need too much details on that. And coming on the other side, over that height, there's the first building, second building, the third, which has, I think it's a um, construction, I'm not really sure what it is. Third and fourth. All right, so that goes so roughly, that's where it is. And there's some balcony, some things going on, and then obviously that would be the eye where people. So let me just add on this side, so about that height. There is there's a sign. That's the building. Okay, and they've also got okay. So that would be the buildings. I'm going to just to add a few more people. So I think the one, the primary is a guy. little big belly he doesn't have it but I've already done it so I'm gonna just continue with his belly okay something like that and making sure all the shadows are in the same Hang up. Okay. Okay, I'll add more people. Different walks of people doing random things. So these are suggestions, but that suggestion gives a lot of depth. A few more in the background. Uh, say that's enough. There's another window and the shadow, making sure the building shadow goes over here. And as I said, I'm going to just add a couple more suggestions of the perspective so that way everything is going in that particular plane. Trees. I think uh, that should a oh, couple more details is so there's some sign which I don't know okay 
so that would how I would do it. So the sky, I'm gonna go a little bit of cerulean blue. So the palette is a little empty. I'm just gonna clean off a little area to just to get a cleaner cerulean blue. Because the surface area is really small, I'm not gonna wet it. I'm just gonna come in. Especially for a sunny day, a cerulean blue is a nice feel. Um, I generally use, if it's bright and sunny, cerulean blue. A little cloudy, I use ultramarine blue or uh, cobalt blue. That's just my preference. There's no... I'm not too worried about slightly overlapping at this stage. I'll let it flow. Okay. Just bear with me for a second. I'm gonna just dry it. Okay, so moving on to the second layer, I'm just going to again clean the palette. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow ochre. Not to worry about the blue, I'm gonna come in, add a little more blue afterwards. This is all about just a second stage, sorry, the first wash. I'm just picking up some grays. There's a little bit of green. Come back. Grace and giving a nice wash. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just gonna, sorry, dry it. What I notice is I just missed out a little bit on the side. All right. Okay. So I'm going to get a synthetic brush. Most of my mop duty are done. I'm going to just get a couple of synthetic brush. Just looking for. Okay. 
synthetic brush and we're going to go blue this brush is slightly too big I'm going to come in it's not holding its edge Come in. Blue. So the next I'm going to go is the second tone. I'm going to go yellow ochre, slightly darker tone. And I'm going to come in some sort of reflection. OK, and I'm going to continue oh, yeah. with Continue with this. So that's my second coat. Not to worry about blending in with blues. That's my second tone. Okay. And over here, I'm going to be just a little more careful, go a little dark, but come around people. A little more dark. I'm going to just continue 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 while keeping trying to keep the bead alive so not letting it dry too much come again come again so something and that Order. Almost. I'm going to switch to a slightly bigger pen. Not a pen, sorry. A palette. I'm going to come in. A little more dark. Something like that. Okay.
Okay. So that is my second coat. I'm going to come in, add a little more details on the third coat, but at this stage, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start adding in a little more details. just around that building. So just seeing some faces. And use random colors to get them. I'm just using a neutral color here at this stage. Okay. All right, I'm going to come in, add, make it a little more dark, certain areas. And not to forget, we've got a so I'm going to go. So that's where we are. We are trying to finish. So more and more, I'm adding more details. So get that going so I'm just adding a little more detail as and I go okay so let's add some uh, random windows and other things while we're still wet so I'm going to come in load a lot more pigment. I'm using a little bit of dry brush, coming in, adding the windows and the door. So, doors. A little more details on the, the curve. So, more curves. More windows and let's add more details to that. Just a simple suggestion. So that dry brush effect has a big impact on making the background pop. It might look like it doesn't have much impact, but trust me, they look really nice that dry brush. So, 
that's going on. And then also let's come in and add a little more texture. Just slowly getting there. Add a little more details to the signboard. And at this stage I'm gonna use a thin brush to add some details to the rails on the balcony. Couple more rails. And there's no balconies here. Just a suggestion. Okay. We're almost getting there. We just have to finish off by adding details to the people and other things in the perspective. Um, so details a little more details. Slowly adding a few more. Okay, so let me just add a little, darken up the shadows a little more. The shadow seems to shadow okay so almost almost done now we're going to start adding a little more details to the actual awnings and other things. So I'm going to add a little shadow. Makes it look there is a little bit of shadows on the awnings and come over here and add a little more reflection on people's shoulder something written and then I'll 
also there is phenol la ina. I can't make out, but I know I can. And there is fundador. Okay, a little more white highlights. So a little railing, can't see it, but just gives, okay, okay, we're almost finishing that, I would add a few more touch with the door, that's a bit too much. Okay, and I'll mention let's add a little more detail to the man. In the front, The dog. Okay, and just for no reason, I'm going to add a couple more shadows randomly coming from the other side of the building and not to forget the last thing is we'll just add a couple more direction lines just gives the perspective gives a good flow where everything else is um that's it well a couple of things I've done after the painting is on the right side, I've darkened it a little more because I think the painting came out a little light. So I've added another layer of darkness. And then also all the people in the foreground, uh, they look like they're wearing a little bit of uniform. Uh, I could have uh, changed a little more tone. Um, it's not really uh, a harsh critique, but uh, it would have been nice if there, are, uh, there was a little bit of variation and then maybe if it's so sunny, you'd assume people would be wearing a little more uh, lighter clothes. Uh, but uh, those are the only couple of things, I would say. Um, but uh, overall, I'm happy with uh, the way it's gone. And then uh, this one, I would consider for the amount of time I've spent, this is like a watercolor sketch. So you learn from what you do and then you do another painting. Um, slightly bigger piece or... Uh, a much more detailed one but this is how you build on your skills and uh, this is where how i'm going to build on and then improve on the paintings so till next watercolor instruction keep watercolor painting and then help me out hit the like button and subscribe and see you next time thanks bye